Meanwhile, State House spokesperson Kanza Dene has confirmed there will be no physical celebrations of the new Jomo Kenyatta Stadium in Kisumu, as Ali announced due to a rise in numbers of COVID-19 cases. Kroland Suma tells us more. With the Indian variant causing fear among its Kenyans, Tuesday 1st June will mark the second Madaraka Day celebrations under tight COVID-19 restrictions. In order to avoid further spread of the deadly virus, the celebrations will be in Kisumu, the epicenter of the variant. Kwa hivyo hisani yetu ni kwenu nyinyi wenyeji wa county. Ni furaha yetu kuwa hapa katika eneo hili la Nyanza. Lakini tunaomba kwa sababu ya janga la corona, tunaomba ya kwamba tafadhalini tubaki ni nyumbani na zaidi ya yote kusisitiza ya kwamba tufuate maagizo yaliyotolewa na Wizara ya Afya ili kuhakikisha ya kwamba tunapunguza maambukizi hayo. The government had earlier confirmed that only 3,000 people will be allowed into the newly built facility of the Jomo Kenyatta Stadium in Kisumu to mark this year's celebrations. In recent days, Kisumu has been witnessing a surge in the virus infections and with minimal Kenyans being allowed, how the government will control the crowd will be something many wait to see. This is the first time Kisumu will host such national celebrations which were traditionally in Nairobi until the Jubilee regime revised the trend to rotate the celebrations in counties. Last year's Madaraka Day was celebrated in State House Nairobi following the ban of mass gatherings to curb the spread of COVID-19 in the country. Caroline Tuma, Switch TV.